How's it going guys? Sam from Mindeck here. Today we're going to be walleye fishing in waders. That is correct. We're going offshore. It is a beautiful night. Absolutely beautiful night. As you guys can see, it is... The sun is setting. It's behind those clouds right now. We're going to be fishing this lake. Hopefully we can catch some walleyes. It's a beautiful night out. It's been really crappy weather out lately. And, uh, well, it's a really nice day out. So I figured maybe the walleyes are starting to push up. I don't really know. We're going to find out, see if we can't catch anything. I'm going to get to fishing because, well... It's already close to prime time anyway. I'll show you guys what I'm using. I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Alrighty, so right now I have tied on a pink jig head with the Mr. Twister tail. I don't want to use that. I'm going to snip that off. we got this guy. He's white, green, he's got pink, he's got orange. He's got all the colors on him. I'm vibing this one. Drop the tag in. And then for a trailer, we're going to be using plastics right away. My dad is here with me and... Uh, He's gonna be using, I don't know what he's gonna be using, but I'm gonna start off with plastics. We got live bait with us. But we just got this little plastic here, this little swim bait. Pretty good looking, just pure white. Just gonna thread it through. There we go, that's what we got. I think this should work, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I don't really know what to expect. Got the trusty net with me too. And, uh, well, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what happens. Here. I'm guessing water temp is still around the low 40s, high 30s, nothing special. We're just going to be slow reeling her in, maybe giving her a few pops off the bottom. Hopefully it's not just a big carp snagging fest today boys, that would not be good. There we go. This has got to be a carp. I don't know. It's not feeling like one. Oh no. It might be a walleye. Decent walleye or white bass. I don't know. I can't tell, man. Whatever it is, it's fighting good. and giving me some good head shakes. Big bet. It's a nice freaking white bass. Man, hold that on, I guess. Primony. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Look how he inhaled that though. Criminy. First white bass of the year. Not a bad one. Look at that chunky. Look at that chunky little monkey. Alright. Deuces my dude. There we go. Oh no. What was that? But hey, it is what it is. Alrighty guys, I made it back to shore and I'm gonna grab some live bait for later tonight. I'm just gonna come down here. I want some more than that, yeah. That's a good amount. Well, that will do the job. Screw that back on. Head back out. Dad made it down finally. Old man finally took a hundred years to get down here, but he ripped his waders, he said. Anyway, I'm going to go collapse some fish before he does. No idea what that was. Holy crap. Okay, well, that pike caught that W right there. I guess it could have been a catfish too. There's some catfish in here, but uh, I'm guessing it was a pike. Kind of running, but I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. The walleye should be biting here soon. Sun is below the horizon there. There we go. That's a walleye. This has to be a walleye. Yes sir, not a bad one. I'll take that all day. Oh yeah. Eh, he's a little small. Smaller than I expected, but it's not a bad little chunky guy. Look at him, milking. 
He is milking, boys. That's a good sign. Well, I'm going to get this guy unhooked. Just like that. And we're going to put him on the stinger. This is a solid 14 inch, 15 inch fish. Not a bad one. Three more to a limit. We'll get there. Dad missed one. Rip. Here's another one, not bad. Smaller, but hey, you know what, we'll take it. Just skinny little baby guy. That's probably 90% of the fish in this lake. There we go again. Look at that, on the drop. This is a good one. He's dogging me. Yeah, live bait's the way to go. Oh yeah, it's not a bad one. Look at that one. She'll eat up just fine. Once again, live bait again. Another 13, 14 inches. So just to give you guys a little update, I haven't seen you guys in a while. I have two keepers right now. Fishing kind of got slow there. Don't really know what happened. It just kind of seemed like they all shut off. I caught two in a row and then all of a sudden, it just boom, nothing. I don't know if you guys can hear the seagulls or not, but if you can hear them, they're freaking loud. I don't know what they're squalling about and it's dark out, so I don't really know. Also, look at that full freaking moon. Gotta love it. I don't know if the fish are gonna bite later now or what. I'm done fishing with minnows. My hands are just absolutely gone. So you guys just stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the GoPro. The one bite. Oh, there we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, Dad. And I mean it. There's no way this is a carp. What? How did that eat that? Uh, I wish. It's a big buffalo. Well, look at that big greasy thing. That's a first for me. Oh, he's going back in the water. <laughs> Just splashed me. Thanks, my guy. Well, finally made it back here to the truck. In my oh my, it got cold quick. My hands are a little nippy. No, I'm freaking starving, boys. That's all I gotta say. I'm ready to catch, clean, cook these mother truckers. We're gonna head back to the house, clean these bad boys up. I don't really know how I'm gonna cook them yet. You guys will just have to stay tuned and find out. So today, it was kinda, you know, it was iffy. I don't really know how I feel about it. I thought we were gonna clap them after I caught two in a row, but nothing happened, so I don't really know. We're gonna go back to the house, and I'll see you guys there. So we just made it back here to the house, and guess what time it is? It is 11 o'clock that is right it's freaking late and i got an early morning tomorrow morning anyway we got the fish in here oh we got middle buckets everywhere of course but there's our two walleyes two solid 14 to 15 inch fish not bad prime eating size anyway i'm gonna go clean them and then i'm gonna go ahead inside and then i think i'm just gonna throw them in the fridge because it's freaking late and i'm tired and i think i'm just gonna cook them up tomorrow morning for breakfast i'm not gonna show you how to clean them because you know youtube is kind of sketchy with that whole thing and most of you guys already know how to clean them if you guys want to learn how to Clean a walleye, you can look it up on YouTube, or I have videos of it too. So, anyway, we're going to get these fish out and clean them out, and then I'll probably see you guys when we're done washing them. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day, and I have to make the fish. I am starving. The fish sounds really good, too, so I'm excited about it. you here, we got the bag of fish. Daisy, you are also very excited, aren't you? Yes, you are. Anyway, we're going to start cooking. I don't really know. I'm gonna cook it quite yet, but I kind of have an idea. So you guys just hold on tight and I'll get started. So the first step is gonna be getting some eggs and some milk out. We're gonna be making some scrambled eggs, which most of you guys already know how to make scrambled eggs. It's, there's not much to it, okay? It, you guys know how to make scrambled eggs. Oh, 
Okay, so once you got your eggs ready and mixed around, they're ready to be thrown in the pan. They're gonna be going in last because they don't take as long as the fish does. So you're gonna take a pan. I'm just using this small pan. Throwing her right on the burner, and we are gonna turn her to a, eh, a medium high heat, sorta of, kinda. And you're gonna come over here, take some butter. You're just gonna throw in a little bit of butter. You're gonna need probably quite a bit. That'll be good to start off with. So we're just gonna wait for the butter to melt and then we're gonna throw the fish in and I'll see you guys then. Okay, the butter is finally melted now. And uh, time to throw in our lovely walleye fillets here. Just like that. We're just gonna throw on some pepper, or some salt. I don't know why I said pepper, but Throw on some salt for now. And then, finally, some pepper. Then some garlic powder. Some onion. Some paprika to finish her off. And, well that's all you have to do for this fish, but, I forgot, one last thing. You need some Italian seasoning. So the fish is ready to flip. As you guys can tell, it's getting white around the edges. That's what you want. There we go. And then, it is about done cooking, I would say. It doesn't take that long to cook the backside. And all you're gonna do is take your lemon juice, quick sprinkle across the whole thing. Whatever wants to come out. There we go. Well bam, all the fish is done cooking. Now we're gonna make the eggs. We're gonna throw in some more butter into the pan. See you guys after the eggs are done cooking. Fish and the eggs are done cooking. We just sprinkled some cheese on top. And now, and all the secret ingredient to making all of this magic work together here, is take some salsa, sprinkle it on top of the eggs. Ooh. Look how tasty that looks. Oh my goodness. I am ready to dive in this beast, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me eating this. Alrighty, let's enjoy this meal. First, I think like we gotta dive into the walleye here. Look at how nice that white chunky meat is. We're gonna go in, it looks very juicy, so that's why we wanted, cheers. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's good. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. I couldn't have pictured that any better. Now, we're gonna go try the eggs and salsa and cheese. Add us a little bit of everything. We're gonna go in. Cheers again. Mm-hmm. Wow. Salsa really makes it so much better. Now let's try some fish, some eggs and salsa. See where that takes us. Look at that. And then cheers. Wow, that actually goes very well together. You wouldn't think, when you say it to yourself, eggs and salsa and walleye, that doesn't really sound like a great combo, but trust me, it is a great combo. You guys need to try this if you haven't. Mm-hmm. What a great way to start off the morning. All right, dog. Look at her little sniffer. All right, you ready? What do you think? Oh, you're licking your lips. That's always a good sign. When you lick your lips, you know Daisy likes it. Oh, now she's giving me the puppy eyes. Look at Daisy, come on. You can't have any more. You know that, come on. Well, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal here and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so I just got done absolutely feasting and that was absolutely delicious. Well, I'm going outside right now to go check on a few things. But, 
I just want to say thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we didn't really catch the most fish, but it's still fun going out there with my dad. I haven't been fishing with him in a long time, probably since last year, and it felt good to be out there on you know, a beautiful night like that. Spend time with him, especially with this whole corona thing going on. I hope you guys are staying safe. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. I greatly appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.